not many people know how difficult it is to get back up in front of a crowd when you're getting knocked down. Where did that determination come from? Uh, you know, every time I step in the ring, I'm, I'm willing to dine here. And this is the reason why I do it. You know, things didn't go to plan. Uh, the better man won tonight. No excuses right there. Boxing with C. Anthony, the fight begins. Steel is all fire within. Every jab, every hook, every thunderous blow. The dance is with destiny, a relentless flow. Thanks for tuning in. C. Anthony back with another video. Like, comment, subscribe if you like the content. Coming off a big fight weekend. Wasn't looking good for Tim Zhu. But in Bakram Murtaz Ali, you know, I got to say, I, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are not really familiar with him. I know the first time I saw him was, um, I believe it was on a Charlo undercard. So it seemed like to me the PBC kind of have him like tucked away for a while. But um, big damage, big damage. You know, Tim Zhu, we all know him, you know, power puncher, real, real good, but upset by Sebastian Fendora in the last fight. So this was kind of like that get back fight. To me, it seemed like he went out there and was going to, Put the pressure on, see if he could get um, Mertazali to, to trade with him, and kind of to me seemed like he was the game plan was to look for the knockout. It looked like he wanted to press, press, fought in a different style. I gotta say he was defending to me kind of odd. He was you know throwing his hands up and kind of pulling back. I felt like the, to me it seemed like this wasn't good preparation. Like they had prepared for somebody maybe that they wasn't super familiar with, or they just thought that maybe he was. Um, I'm not going to say underrated, but I don't think they expected what they got. Merck Dezali, I believe he's um, 23-0 with 17 knockouts. So I'm just, you know, it's, I feel like that's a big step up for Merck Dezali to, to actually fight Tim Zhu. And I felt like it just kind of caught him slipping, kind of caught him off guard. You know, and the rematch might be different. Not even sure if Tim would probably want that rematch. So that's, um, you know, back-to-back -back losses for Tim Zhu. I'm thinking about which direction he's taking. I really think that it'd be real good if Tim could get in there with, with, with Keith Thurman. I think that'd be a real good fight. Him coming off of two losses. You know, Crawford, we haven't, I mean, not Crawford, I'm sorry. Um, and Thurman just being away for a while, you know, there's always talk of him coming back. But I think that'd actually be a good matchup. As for what's next for um, for Bakram, probably a lot of choices out there for him. I know PBC, not sure which direction they're going to take. But I think a big, you know, he he. He wants Crawford, so we'll see how that could go. I think Crawford, I, me, myself, I don't think that Crawford would actually take that fight. We all know it seems like Crawford in later parts of his career seems to be, he wants those big fights. You know, it was just um, big fights. He wants the Canelo fight. They were talking to him and Sebastian getting in there for a while. It seemed like that's been on, off, on, off, so not sure how that's going to go. As for Crawford versus Sebastian, I think that would be a tough fight for Crawford, but I think at some point Crawford would... um. You know, download the info, and I think I think he, his, his ring IQ would take over. I think he'll actually stop Sebastian sometime, probably tent round on somewhere around there. I think I think he'll Crawford seemed like the kind of fighter he'll find a way. But as for against Bakram, I think that'd be a tough fight. Like I said, he definitely would have to study Bakram for a while. I think Bakram is um seventy two inch reach, so that that wouldn't be a big thing. But Bakram, I think he's tough. You know, um, seems speed, power quickness and hungry that's a different thing he, he to me seemed like a, a, a little bit different kind of hunger i was joking with my brother i was saying it seemed like he had just watched that rocky um the rocky part four with drago so um i think that'll be a tough fight that's for crawford like i said i don't think he'll take that fight i'm not sure which direction crawford will go because uh, you know uh, virgil rt is still out there i think that's a good fight for him I just don't think that he's he's had so many opportunities. I feel like to to take that um take that Virgil fight. So gotta wait and see what Crawford gonna do. But back to Bakram and Tim Zhu, big fight. You know, um, seemed like he you know I think he's the IBF champ right now. I think that you know the future might be Bakram. Might be kind of early to say that right now. But you know, future with the IBF right now, he's just you know who's gonna step up and actually take the fight with him. Like I said, he seems to be hungry. Kind of tough to feet, kind of, you know, not real tall. He's six feet, but he's kind of wiry. You know, we all know what that is. Kind, kind of linky, but not real linky. Real, real strong. And I think he's hard to kind of like size up. Tim Zhu, that come forward game plan just wasn't it. You have to, push, you know, sit down with your team and probably have to work and train on what combinations to throw for him. Seemed like he's really, really good with the counter. Tim was, seemed like trying to line him up sometime, like for the straight right. Couldn't really, you know what he did? I take that back. He landed a couple, a couple big shots on him with the, with the right, but he, it wasn't connecting like he thought it would. And then every time he tried to throw that left, 
It seemed like he was getting countered right there. Bam. So I think that would be a real tough fight for him. But um, let's see where it goes from here. Like I said, Bakram Crawford is that next for him. And hopefully Tim Zhu, you know, I don't think he's... Um, Tim Zhu's only 29, so he definitely got a lot left for him. I would definitely would like to see him getting there. Big comeback versus Keith Thurman. Stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the comment section. Peace. Boxing with the Ebony, the fight begins. Steel is all fire within. Every jab, every hook, every thunderous blow.